We're at part Shh. two of the Metal Gear Rising Revengeance commentary. Yeah. Nope. Oh, stupid dog. <laughs> Your dog's Metal trying to fight back, huh? Yes, she is. And now we have to chase after what's his face? Uh, Vin Diesel, if you like. I don't know. Vin Diesel's a lot smaller. <laughs> He's well, actually shorter than you. Well, what? can you name any other bald, uh, famous bald people you know in the media, comic books, video games, movies? Um, let's see. So we first of all we have Vin Diesel. We have The Rock. We also have uh, what's I'm, his name? I'm talking about people who are white. Oh. Well, we have The Rock. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Jesus Christ. Haven't we killed that thing already? Nah, uh, we only... Uh, Raiden only just slice its, uh, I guess, wing arm off. Whatever. Now we're actually going to finally take care of the damn thing. And this fight is just as easy as the very first one. I just wonder, like, throughout all this fire and carnage going on, like, how many casualties are there? Probably a couple hundred thousand. Yeah, exactly. I was about to say, it must reach in the hundreds of thousands. I mean, come on. You watched the How It Should Have Ended with Man of Steel, right? Yeah. You showed me it. Yeah. That... That explains what's happening. Have oh, you met, measure what you have to do if you fall on land? Oh my god, thousands of innocent people will be dead! Yeah, a billion dollars of uh, damages. Yeah, exactly. Now, what I'm failing to do is that, yeah, you can actually slice the missiles. I would think that that would make it explode even sooner. Yeah, I would think so too, but nope. Gotta go with that Japanese anime logic, and now it's time to jump on the missiles. I, I will say this, I like the music. I do love Metal Gear Rising soundtrack. It's very, it's fast, it's it's hard rock mixed with metal. It's supposed to be, you know, blood pumping. That's, if they, if that's the direction oh, they were going nice. for, they did a good job at it. Because it is supposed to be blood pumping, since this game, it has a lot of action. Bitch, I'm not done yet! He's no alley card. You're right, alley card wouldn't be getting his ass kicked so hard. But uh, what, what the, I don't understand where you, who you made the reference for. You made the reference for the Metal Gear Ray or for Ryan? Yeah, Metal Gear Ray. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, of course. <laughs> alley card probably wouldn't get his ass kicked so much. And even if he does, he always Ow. comes back tenfold. A 72 inch. Plasma screen TV. So, how can I help you? That was probably a multi million dollar machine, so yeah. <laughs> and I got my first X rank, and I think that'll probably be my only S rank I ever get in this whole playthrough. Like I said, the only reason of getting uh, good the ranks is. Back. Oh, jeez, your dog's back already. And looks like this guy's gonna get fucked. Uh. That, yep. He's totally. Wait, why is he smiling? More. Oh, crap. More importantly, why does he have a fucking barcode on the front of his head? Don't you know? He's the exact opposite of Hitman. You find him at a retail store? Yes. <laughs> I wonder if you can use that uh, little thing on your iPhone where you can scan barcodes. Maybe you can find him for a lower price than other places. Let's do it. <laughs> <laughs> Bitch, I'm a ninja samurai. Yep, pretty much so. Now, this should be this right here is the final part of the uh, little fr of the first level. My name is and Boris. I'm a Russian or German. He's Russian. Russian. All right. Yeah, Boris is Russian. And he's pretty much, uh... I thought, I thought it was a German name, really. Oh. Uh, I'm not too sure, but I know for a fact he is Russian. Not only two seconds in, there already got ourselves another cutscene. I won't be needing my little seal here any longer. 
No, no, stop. Don't hurt Brock Obama. Only don't, one. Don't hurt Brock Obama. <laughs> what about all the good things war has done for us? Why don't we ever hear speeches about that? Jobs, technology, a common purpose? Yeah, if you don't, under, don't get that the main theme now of the Metal Gear Rising, uh, Revenge is it's a war. Stop killing me. Or at least bringing back war. Well, he does make a solid argument of what war does give. Yeah. There's a lot of suffering, but there's also a lot of good. Yeah. Unfortunately. It, yeah. But the whole the whole main purpose of the bad guys is trying to bring war back because Metal Gear Solid 4, uh, Snake already took care of the Patriots and everything. So, you know, they don't exist. But they want to bring it they want to bring war back again. Holy sh no. Well, Raiden, Raiden's scarred for life. And there goes the Prime Minister. Oh well. He served his purpose for a good three minutes. And now the revenge's parts come in. I'm just kidding. I'm getting my revenge. It gets fucked up. Time for revengeance. <laughs> what the fuck is revengeance? I don't That's know. Me, me trying to get revenge for a second time. Re revengeance. Oh jeez. <laughs> oh, do we get to kill this guy? Please don't even get to kill him. Sam, you'll will you'll see. Yours, Come on, high heels, kick his ass. With what's his face getting away? I think if I remember his name's like Sun or something like that. Sun something. He has a nickname. We'll we'll learn it later. Why does he just remind you of Mitsurugi? Who? Uh, Sam, the one with the red blade. Yeah. I. That's actually a good comparison. I never thought of it that way. Hey, yeah, reminds me of fucking Mitsurugi from uh, Soul Calibur. Yeah, it kind of does. Look, look, even his fighting style. Uh, understandably, that's the samurai fighting style, but seriously, the looks, the fact that his armor is in the shape that it is, that is total Mitsurugi looking. Yep. Well, now we got technically somewhat of a boss, uh, Sam. Unfortunately, you can't win this fight no matter what you do. This is pretty much a like a pretty much an inevitable win fight. You can keep fighting him all you want, but he will just block and block away. I mean, yeah, he you can hurt him sometimes, but he doesn't have a health bar, so I'm just delaying the inevitable. I really should just be dying, but hell, I'm just getting some satisfaction of just kicking his ass because the first time I played this, yeah, he kind of kicked my ass pretty damn hard, and I was on normal difficulty. And not half bad, still. And this is probably the character that... Okay, this is complete. <laughs> this is definitely Dragon Ball Z or fucking... Your regular anime fighting shit. <laughs> the whole stabbing into the roof and the guy flying towards him. I get more of a bleach feeling from this. Except with, uh, you know... Robots no, no. and spirits. Yeah, exactly. Robots, cyborgs, and so and so and other things. So, yeah, like you said, spirits. You know, if they ever do a Duke's X uh, in a sequel to it, they should really have this kind of fighting engine. Well, I will, don't know if I would agree with you because, like I said, I never played the game yet. I'm just having my fun just fucking around with him. But as I was saying before, this is going to be the character that uh, Raiden's more going to have uh, more of a lust to kill. It, it's his arch enemy. Yeah, pretty much. He's his arch. Sam here is the arch. Is pretty much Raiden's uh, arch enemy in the game. Not so much of a Jesus Christ. Bald, bald, bald McDouchebag, but more of Sam. Because he's basically evil, right? Well, you deny your weapon its purpose. Huh? Well, he does two things. Ah, <laughs> fuck you. One thing, he cuts off his eye. It hurts to I thought that little thing just enemies. went over his eye, not in it. Back. No. My sword is a tool of justice. 
I'm the hero this city needs, but doesn't deserve. God, fucking Batman, I tell ya. Okay, total fucking soul call for Mitsurugi moment. <laughs> it's been forever since I played Soul Calibur. Same here. But we do get the. You actually do Whoa. get that blade. That is actually pretty cool. Yeah, you actually do get that blade. When you uh, kill the cyborgs, you actually do get their blades later for weaponry, and some are more powerful than others, and some have better attributes than other ones do. Yeah, yeah not only turning him, uh, fucking ride it into. Wait, again? Yeah, he lost his arm in Metal Gear Solid 4. Are you all right? You're almost same arm? Yep, yeah, same arm. <laughs> That's fucking. <laughs> Dude, insert re uh, Return the Jedi and shit. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? Get it yeah. over with, damn! Now we're just so drunk right now, we can't hit him worth shit. not drunk, we're losing so much damn blood. Ugh. <laughs> Ugh. Uh, tis but a flesh, well, God. <laughs> oh, you're dead. Look at all that blood you're losing. Bryden would be dead. When you bring a he would be standing up right now, or able to hang on to the train any longer. And then Snake comes in and goes, Metal Gear! <laughs> and ends it. And that's the game. Yeah, all it takes is a snake to sneak behind Snam and snap his neck. Motherfucker! You ate the last cookie! You're too waiting, huh? Hey, he stole that from Snake. Alright, next one. What do you mean, next one? I just finished it. The video's still going on, dude. Oh, shit. It did not load. Yeah, it's 18 minutes and 6 seconds long. Oh, well, I got 18 minutes and... Well, at least the good thing with Boris is that at least he's useful. I mean, yeah, the Colonel in regular Metal Gear Solid series, he is useful too, but Boris goes out of his I way. I won't say yeah. this, the Colonel is kind of pounding out. Yeah. Well, he's a man of secrets and kept a lot of things from Snake, so, you know, Snake in the beginning didn't really trust him that much. Could anyone trust him? Or for that matter, should Snake trust anyone since he's actually a clone? Uh, well, he is a uh, much of a loner, but like the most people he's ever, you know, closest to is a uh, Otacon and uh, Meryl, the Colonel's uh, niece, who is also in Number Four, right? Yeah, and a leader of the new Gray Fox unit, I guess. Yeah, no, they're not. They're not a new Fox unit. They're just their own unit themselves. And doesn't she, like, it is in love with Snake? Well, yeah, they kind of do have some sort of, like, love, l little sub-love love thing. Yeah, sub-love thing, but, um, you know, since he got a little bit too old and everything like that, yeah. He's actually the same age, it's just his body aged rapidly. <laughs> Fucked up face. And this is actually be the part where the demo would actually um, would um, be if you played the demo. I'm just gonna say this: whoever uh, I got hired me, and I had to get all this shit done to me, I would. <laughs> Why? Look at his face! He fucking turned into. I don't even know what he turned into now. We will get you in safely, the only the only different thing is that he just has a, just a metal helmet on, and now he has a, a bandage for his jaw. yeah metal. Well, he kind of somewhat had a metal 
Jaw in um, Metal Gear, uh, Metal Gear um, 4. Uh, Metal Gear Solid 4. Yeah, he has a metal jaw in here too. Yeah, but in but it's it's he can take it off. He, he he can take it off. That's the thing. Why? It's just it's just added protection for his jaw. It's it's not it's it's not like it's embedded in there that he can't take it off whatsoever. Because it looks like it, he turned into like one of those fucking uh, the comic book villains, the one with all the metal on them. Every time I see anybody with the heart, <laughs> I'm evil. <laughs> Fucking underbite. Yeah, I was, I was thinking like, <laughs> reminds me of uh, that one guy from the Venture Brothers. <laughs> And we get uh, information from the doctor saying that if you cut off the left arms of the new cyborgs, that's where most of their information is uh, stored. Why the left arm? Hell if I know. That's what you said before Montenegro. Look, just in Star Wars, wasn't it the left arm or was it the right arm? Neutralize the terrorists and Uh, left arm for right arm for what? For Anakin and his son. Most of the cabinet. Um, I don't remember. It's been forever since I've seen. Oh wait, yes, it's the right hand. Okay. Oh. Uh, Minami's killers. That's why they revenge. Andrei Dolcev, leader of the occupation forces, an extremist linked to both the Saint Petersburg massacre of 2015 and last year's terror spree in Georgia, and his arms supplier. None other than Desperado Enforcement, LLC. Yep, and now we know the name of our... Our cyborgs we have to go after, the Desperados. Oh, sorry. Fucking <laughs> <laughs> insensitive <laughs> assholes. <laughs> you, you assholes. <laughs> you took my eye. The only problem I see is that nickname. I've you know what, he might as well as be just a fucking robot. Issue. He may yep. not even be in country. Keep an eye out, Justin. Metal Gear. Oh. It seems like in here it does seem like more of like Raiden's becoming more and more, you know, cyborg every single time. He's becoming the put the mobot, the humanoid version of a Metal Gear, really. Uh, hell, if this guy can take down a Metal Gear, what's stopping him from just taking on a whole damn army? Wait, he has a barcode on his head. Yeah, he also has a bar. I think he also has a barcode now. Fucking good. All right, next one. Hold on, the video's not done for me yet. <sighs> See, I knew it. We can purchase Rydens. <laughs> Buy one locally at your own Walmart. <laughs> Nah, something like him would be more high tech in some place other, like maybe Fry's Electronics or something like that. <laughs> yes, build your own Raiden. Personal bodyguard who can fuck everything up. <laughs> I FYI, want one! 